The first thing that you want to do when applying Echo in Adobe Audition is to make sure that you have enough of silent audio at the very end of your audio recording because you don't want your echo to truncate. When you're applying echo, it won't extend, extend the length of your audio recording. So whenever it ends, if your echo is still going, it will truncate where, where the audio recording ends. So that's why you can either click record button and record silent, or you can just copy and paste some of the silent parts so that you have at least a couple of seconds here that you can walk, walk with your audio recording. Then you're gonna select it, go to effects, reverb, and choose surround reverb. So there's a, there are a couple of presets that I like for adding echo trap in the well works really well. And I'll play the original audio now and then we'll listen to the one of the effect. Bam! Bam! Right now it adds nice prolonged echo and that now now that we have it we can also tweak it to our liking so if we increase gain here we'll make it a bit louder bam yeah but not too loud i guess and then one of the most important settings is going to be mix so mix will determine how much of the original audio you are hearing or rather how much of echo you are hearing in comparison to the original audio. So the higher the mix, the more echo you will hear. And if we increase it, bam! Now we can decrease it so you can hear the difference. Bam! And it is very important for, for, for one one reason because if you increase mix you're gonna hear more of the echo and that means that the person that you're hearing will seem as if is further away from you so you are adding distance because you're hearing more of the echo less of the original audio meaning that the person that is speaking is further away from you and then if you decrease mix it will seem that the person is closer to you because you're hearing a lot more of the original audio and then you can hear echo somewhere uh, uh, further further away from you a little bit more muffled so that's why it is very important and I, I'll leave it at around 80 and then we have all of these parameters here as well so room size kind of self-explanatory it will determine how large this the space you're in will seem damping so this is damping lower frequencies and damping higher frequencies the more damping you will apply the less echo you will hear it it will be much more abrupt and then if you decrease it you'll hear much more of the echo and it will be much more prolonged and then you'll need more uh, more of this a silent space at the very end of your audio recording because it, it will just keep going, the echo will keep sounding. Bam! Bam! See? And then if we increase it. Bam! It is much more abrupt. So it makes seem that the higher the damping uh, will the higher damping will make seem like you are in a closer space I will leave it at around 60. Pre-delay uh, pre delay will determine how long it will take for echo to appear so so the higher the delay the further away from uh, from the object you will seem because it, the, the further away the object the the longer it takes for for the echo to appear because it needs to travel longer distance so if you want to control how how far away you are for example from the wall uh, from which the echo bounces then you can you know adjust the delay setting and then we have width settings so these will determine um, the distance between the left and right side so again 
if you increase the width here it will uh, determine the space the size of the space that you're in it will seem like um, the space you're in is larger and then we have other presets right here and the one that I really like as well is lost in space so w when you choose different presets you'll, you'll get different impulses as well and it will create a completely different sound so and go ahead and try different ones because they are they are actually quite different bam all right so this one is very hollow sounds lonely like as it says like you're somewhere in a space alone and you know all all, all of this the things i've mentioned before still apply you can tweak this to make it sound better more to your liking and another one that I really like that's a little bit creepy is large metallic cylinder. Again, it makes you feel all alone, but this time in a much smaller, tighter space. Bam! 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 And that's it. Um, that's how you add echo in adobe edition and that's how you can tweak all those settings to make sure that it sounds just about right for you and don't forget to click apply button to make sure that it works